Welcome to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. As you can tell by the build number, it's been a while since I've done a recording. But back to continue on to get towards the Dyson Sphere. Uh, in the previous few episodes, uh, power was definitely a problem. So I came all the way out here. To, uh, was it Alpharetz 1? Uh, where we tapped into the sulfuric acid before just to get it going because uh, we needed some back on our starter planet. Um, this one, where is it? There was a listing for the luminosity. Well, what if we go here? Well, the lumin. Well, oh, come on, come on. Oh, that's why. How about if we go to that one? There we go. There, the luminosity is the 2.11. Uh, that's pretty damn powerful, so I decided to go ahead and make the Dyson Sphere out here. But, to get to there, um, we need to get whoop, some antimatter fuel rods going. And for those guys, we need antimatter. And to get the antimatter, which comes along with hydrogen, we need critical photons. Then, to get the critical photons, they're going to come out of the ray receivers. Oh, where, there it is. Uh, yeah, because with these guys, uh, they receive high energy rays transmitted from the Dyson Swarm or Dyson Sphere. The received energy can be directly outputted to the power grid or sto stored as photons in a critical state. But that's how we're going to get those guys. And I don't think we can... I didn't see a listing here for it. but. That's what we're going after. We're going to start laying down some ray receivers, even though we need the Dyson Swarm going up. Now, back on our starter planet, we've got the uh, solar sails being made at 1800 per minute. EM rail ejectors. Oh, come on. Oh, I highlight it. Just highlight it. Well, how about we go here? There, there it is. They launch a large amount of solar sails into the into the orbit of the system star to form a Dyson Swarm and they shoot them out at 20 per minute. So that means it's 1800, so, so it'd be 90. We can have 90, I only brought 68 of them with me. But that's the plan to get this going. Now, I am right here at zero, zero, if you look right here, whoop, down in the lower left, and that's where we're gonna place the first one so if we come here, Dyson Swarm, EMA Rail Ejector, boom. And I'm thinking every four degrees, because we're looking at what, 360 degrees to go around. So divided by 90 is every four degrees. I don't know if we can get it. Uh, ooh, is that, what if we put it on that line? Uh, that's gonna be three degrees, so where's four? Four degrees is right about there. Hmm. You know what? What the hell? Let's just drop it right here because they're not going to be firing continuously. That that just dawned on me. How close can we get them? Ah, nope, nope. We'll just plop them right in here. Get it going. Boom. Now what I've also been looking at. Uh, figuring out and kind of make it a little bit on the symmetrical side there we'll drop a few of those guys oh oh and I don't think I uh, let everybody know also on this planet oh pull up the spreadsheet Doo -doo -doo. Um, I've already got a couple of things being made here uh, boom what if we go here uh, put this north Oh, I'm going to show you real quick. Um, this is uh, titanium ingots for the final product here of titanium alloy. And it's being made at 600 per minute. So that's a nice little bonus here. And then, of course, got the sulfuric acid being made. Coming up here to this top uh, interstellar um, station. Anyways, getting ahead of the game. So... All right, so we've got the rail guns here. And I'm also then thinking, doo -doo -doo, is that part of the Dyson Swarm? Uh, Spirit? Yes, there it is. We take a ray receiver. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to have to... Hmm. Belt this in. And I can't remember... Is it belt directly in? Or is it an, an inserter that has to go by it? Or a uh, sorter. Oh, yeah. And I also noticed that the copy inserter mod uh, finally broke. Somewhere along the line. So this is what we've got going now, which is uh, kind of okay because I've been having to fix things as I've been going from planet to planet, just checking things out. Okay, so... Hmm, those guys will go there. And the ray receiver... Can we put it right there on that line? Yeah, we can, can't we? Is that the north side? Yeah, yeah, we'll keep it on the north side. So we'll put one there. Can we, put, how, can we put a second one right there? Oh, we can. Okay, now. Do these require... Uh, these go straight in? Ooh, they will. That means they'll come straight out. Ooh, nice, nice. What if we go there? Take that. To there. And run that over to there. Oh, okay, let's, um, boom. Just trying to figure out the layout. Oh, layout here. Hmm, there we go. Because then, what I'm thinking is, as this photon generation. Photon generation. Let's see. Uh, any way to see how quickly they make these? Uh, nope. Might have to. Oh, oh, can be converted into antimatter and hydrogen under the action of a super magnetic field. Oh shit! And oh, soups. Might have to blip that out. No, I won't. And hydrogen. Oh, that's right. Both of them are going to be coming out. Hmm. So let's. Uh, we can send two lines. Uh, we take one that direction, one that direction. This will come out into here. This will come out into there. And then we take another ray receiver. Drop it there and there. And then take this guy like that, like that. Bring that in. Bring that there. And we're gonna have. Oh, dang. Wait, 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 wait. Am I getting ahead of myself? Boom, boom. Make the antimatter. Oh, it's made in a particle collider. Okay, so this is just the photons coming out. Okay, it's in the particle collider that will make the antimatter. Okay, so we're just collecting the photons. Woo! Okay, this is going to be a little bit easier. Okay. So then we can do this. We'll just dip a line like that. Take this into here, that to there. Boom. Boom. Yeah, because then they'll come out, they'll stream along here. And foundations? Yes. Come on, let's get back up. Wow, it has been a while since I've uh, done any recordings. I forgot how to manipulate all of this. Boom and boom, boom. Ooh, might have to bury that copper one. Okay, no problem. We can do that when we get there. Now, it was this zero zero. Yeah. Okay, well, so tell you what. Or the solar sails. Hmm. 
to here. Just trying to get the beginning point going. We take this to there, this to there. What about this? And send that one off in that direction so we split them up kind of evenly. And solar sails will be going there. This is going to work out nicely. Then, ooh, how big of an area can this cover? Uh, dang. Okay, so if we put it, it'll cover four of them at a time. Hmm. What if I can I put one in here? No. I was thinking of putting not only ray receivers on this side, but another row on this side. Hmm. 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 Okay, I'm going to play with this for a little bit, and hopefully by the time the uh, star rises again and makes it a little bit easier to see, I'll have this figured out. So I'll see everybody in two seconds. Alrighty, with the star rising, I believe I have this figured out. And, oh, that was supposed to be, yeah, that's covering both of those. Oh, oh, dang. Uh, I forgot about those guys. They needed to be powered also. What if, nope, that's just out of range. Okay, so for right now, uh, hmm, yeah, every other one. So we'll just keep it symmetrical. Look at have it looking nice and pretty okay so ran uh, the Tesla towers up there to bring the power from my ring of solar panels right here just brought it back down here to the equator and so we'll have the rail guns spread out here oh let me build up the construct mode then a one row of receivers, a second row, and if need be, boom, I can put a second or a third one and a fourth row of ray receivers. Um, but right now, I think I just want to get one ring going around to get that set up, then bring in the Dyson or Dyson's the solar sails, start launching them into orbit. Um, yeah, and get. Uh, possibly this Dyson Sphere going around. Where, where the hell's the star go? Oh, it's up above. Oh, because of the shadow. Yeah, so that's the plan on the layout of this uh, setup here. And, oh, we're, I know we're going to need those. And so what I'm going to do is I want to lay down one line all the way around the equator of the ray receivers and the EM rail ejectors. So, that's the plan on this one, getting it all the way around. And you know what? Um, let's come up here. Hmm, do I have room up here to order another one? Oh yeah, and temporarily, I was making um, dude around fuel rods here uh, because deuterium was in the, uh, let's see, which planet was that in? It was in a gas giant. Uh, was it three? Yeah, it was a uh, Alpha Rats three. Yeah, because it was producing 19.2 per second and hydrogen 475 per second. So I just made a quick and dirty build up here, but yeah, with the game copy inserters being broken, I had to go and fix it back on the home world. Well, anyways, that that that's a whole nother story. But I'm back in action here, so I got all this. Uh, Ooh, deuterium. Uh, nope, we're not going to need that anymore. So let's uh, boom. take that down. Clear and reset. I'm not worried about losing all of that because all of it's going to go out there. Okay, so let's drop this out there too. Delete. 
and 269 do i want to erase all of it yes pink all gone because we have an unlimited supply of deuterium deuteron deuterium all right let's get back here oh crap oh crap 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 there they are okay gotta get used to being in this world again okay let's lay oh duh that's why I went up here to um, get some more um, uh, oh my gosh I'm forgetting the name ray receivers and thank you for bearing with me on this so buildings we want ray receivers oh and I don't want 10,000 of them um, let me take oh but oh but a thousand are gonna come in one shot because that's how many the logistic vessel can handle oh my gosh oh and they stack 10 oh that's gonna be a hundred of them oh um no no I'm not gonna do that I will fly back use some warps warpers get down there pick them up and bring them back yeah that was gonna hurt Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and boop, uh, just start building and lay this stuff down. So I'll see everybody in two seconds as soon as I get all of this laid out. And if anything uh, unusual happens as I'm circumnavigating this world, I will definitely let you know. Either way, I will see everybody in two seconds. And just like that, got everything laid out. There is 100 R RM rail ejectors. Oops, am I even saying that right? Yes, EM rail ejectors. Excuse me, electromagnetic. That's what I'm figuring. EM rail ejectors, 100 circumnavigating this world, plus 100 ray receivers getting ready to, to turn all that uh, Dyson, uh, Dyson Swarm's energy into photons. Now, the thing is, I have no idea um, what these are going to kick into once it, how much energy it's going to start using as soon as it gets there. I don't know. Uh, you got me. And what I did also, too, was I just used the default orbit for this first Dyson Swarm. Uh, Dyson Shell, not even going to get uh, go into that one yet. One thing at a time. I'm here to get... Uh, antimatter going so we can have some energy and who knows this might work out pretty good then what I also did I put these two exterior rows right here just to for power generation and if need be um, I might just have to go and start circumnavigating it again and laying these guys down to get the continuous energy so we can produce more photons so we can more energy da 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 uh, I went back and picked up uh, just a few more raid receivers. <laughs> Let's see, I've got, uh, yeah, 378 on me. So that should last. Then, what I also did is, I have this. Planetary logistics stations getting ready to receive solar sails. Now, the last thing we have to do to get this thing up and running. Oh, yeah is request the solar sails we got this and yes we're going to max it out on 10 local supply remote demand and they should just start buzzing in here really quick oh there they go nice oh they're doing the dance around the uh, station sweet yep 10,000 coming in currently uh, we have a maximum capacity of 160 megawatts. Um, this is basically just the solar panels that are just around here on the North Pole. Um, I have a feeling when the EM rail ejectors kick in and the uh, ray receivers start up... Oh, oh, wrong tower. How about this one over here? Um, this... It, it's either going to stop or it's going to slowly work its way into it. And 
Oh, I'm kind of nervous, but excited at the same time. I've uh, been waiting for a while, and here they come. Here come the solar sails. Right on in. Look at that. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. All right. And these guys should... Oh, maybe if I demand it. Boop. Yeah, and just to even it out, I just put 27 of them in there. Because each one will handle uh, 100 um, solar sails. And you know what I should do? There, I'll stop that right there because just to keep things moving. How many did I? The logistic drones that I have in here, I can't remember. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, only 15. You know what? Let's, uh, yeah, we might be having them go everywhere. But what the hell? Let's, let's top it off at 50. Okay, there we go. All right. Now. We will. Oh, that's right, because I didn't tell it what to take out of there. So we'll set up this filter, boom. That filter, boom. There they go. Now these guys should start firing. Yes. Maybe. Target distance. 1.42. Uh oh. Does it have to be within a certain distance? Uh oh. Okay. This guy's rotate. They're rotating. Why aren't you guys firing? Is anybody firing? Oh, oh. There we go. There's one. Yeah. There they go. Okay, these just might not be in line of sight. Oh yeah, there they go. Oh my god, this is gonna hurt. 1.8 megawatts. Oh. This is... Oh, that, that's gonna be hurting. See, so are these guys receiving anything yet? Little by little, it's getting there. Okay, these guys producing photons. This is what we are after. Oh my gosh. Look at that little sliver right there. Okay, request of power, 70 megawatts, holy crap. Oh my god. This is going to take a while for it to kick in. All right, but it's getting there. Okay. How are these guys doing? They're getting up there. Okay, you know what? It's time to lay out some more ray receivers and get this power going so we're not cut off too badly. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I've been going. In, let's see which way is the start going. Oh, you know what? Uh, boom. There it is. There we are. There it is. Shooting it all into that. Wow. Wow. That's just pelting the crap out of that thing. It's going up. It's getting there really quickly whoa these guys aren't even probably receiving enough okay How are the photons doing eh, you're getting up there 0 0.05 per minute okay 0.51. okay um, yeah as usual on some of my builds, well, almost on all of them, uh, this might be overkill. But what it is time to go do is go ahead and once again circumnavigate and lay down some of these bad boys. So I'll see everybody in two seconds as soon as I make uh, this trip around the, the world again. 
And yes, that one is going to bug the hell out of me. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, and are all these generations power? Yes, they are power generation. Okay. Okay, I'll see everybody in two seconds. All right, there we go. It's uh, about another 200 ray receivers total um, doing all of the power generation. Uh, it's probably about 198 because there were some spots like here. I couldn't do it because of the resource node. But, eh, it happens. Now, oh, you know what? Uh, I forgot to go and find out when the photons start coming out. Uh, where the hell they're gonna go? Because uh, I did not get that situated. Oh, little by little, it's getting there. Okay, I see. Looks like these are still receiving power. Nope. These guys are flat out dead. What's the ones on the other side? Oh, nice. The EM rail ejectors are getting ready. Or the star rise. Yeah. What's our power situation now? 266. That's okay. I'm impressed with that one. Uh, let's see here. What's the Dyson Sphere do? 527 megawatts. We're not even... Te oh, jeez. Probably not even enough uh, ray receivers to uh, get tap into that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we might start building the uh, Dyson Sphere a little bit sooner. Wow, wow. Okay. All right, we got that. Oh, uh, let's go set this up to bring our sales. Oh, oh. Uh, I might not be producing them enough, or fast enough, I should say. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so cool. Nice, nice, very nice. And yeah, I am not manufacturing them fast enough. I've got too many EM rail ejectors going. Okay. Um, wow. Still, we got the Dyson Swarm going again. This time it actually looks pretty good and doing it uh, maybe properly. Oh, look at that. There they are. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Got to figure out what's going on. Not enough uh, solar sails coming in. Oh, you know what? I wonder if the copy inserter mod previously broke and they're not being produced anymore. All right, everybody hang in there. I'll see you in about two seconds because I'm going to go back to Alola Lula Borealis and figure out what the hell's going on. There they are, there it is. Want get out, there we go. And head there and boom. I'll see everybody in uh, two seconds. All right, back here on Lula Borealis 3 and that's exactly what's going on. Um, the first one that I put down just to build and then I copied it, uh, none of the other ones are working. So this is what I've had to do as I come across what's broken um, sorters like that. And I'll take this and magically they'll start running again. So that's what's, ha so that is exactly what happened. There we go. Now this should be taking all of these guys as soon as it gets up to a hundred. The logistics drone will pick it up and transport it. And then the, what are they called? Logistics vessel will take him out there to Alpha Rats 1. And continue now. Boom, boom. 100 and picks it up. That's exactly what's going on. Okay, I will call this a success, definitely. Ooh, ooh. There we go. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to fix all the rest of these and we'll get that puppy up and running again. But thank you for joining me on this journey in Dyson Sphere program. And as always, enjoy life and be safe.
and drink the dew.